Welcome to the Stan Simpson Show, a program about Connecticut people and compelling issues. Make it a point to drop in every week. The latest idea to reinvent downtown Hartford has been unveiled. It's been called a flashy and new age approach connecting museums, parks, and other amenities in a pedestrian friendly way. We have urban designer Doug Sussman stops in. He discusses his vision for a new Hartford. We have Ken Gossin from the Hartford Current and community leader Denise Best. In our second segment, looks like the honeymoon period is over for new Governor Dan Malloy. A new poll shows his approval rating slipping after enacting the biggest tax increase in the state history. Then folks will wrap things up with what was a banner year for UConn baseball. The Huskies competed for the national championship and had two players picked in the first round of the Major League Baseball draft. WTIC's Scott Gray stops in for a chat. But first, a chat about yet another new vision for downtown Hartford. We have the architect, Doug Sussman, community leader and activist, Denise Best, Ken Gosselin, Hartford Current. So you dropped this eye quilt vision on uh, folks this week, and what's been the response so far? You're going to take the bush door and sort of turn it into a backdrop of a way to connect other amenities in the city. Tell us about it. Sure. Well, thanks, Dan. Actually, uh, this has been uh, developing for several years, so uh, I'm hoping it doesn't feel like it was dropped. We've actually <laughs> had dozens of uh, meetings, uh, community forums, and meetings with stakeholders for two and a half years. So this has been developing for a long time. All, all we did this week was actually, I don't think we unveiled anything. We simply gave a kind of progress report halfway through uh, a 12-month phase two. We started in January. We'll have a final master plan in December. And the team, which is both Hartford-based and nationally based in L.A. and New York and Virginia, came up to say, here's where we are halfway through. What do you think? And got a lot of feedback. We had over 200 people at the uh, public library last night. Wonderful questions, responses, suggestions. It's still a work in progress. Uh, it's not. It's a new vision in some ways, but it's also... Um, an old vision. It's a combination of restoring what was wonderful and what was lost, mm -hmm. and what could be and is yet to come. And the naysayers are saying what Ken Gosselin, Harper Current Report, what are they saying? Well, they're, they're wondering if this is just another big project that, we, that we've uh, had so many times in Hartford, and that in many, many cases has never come to fruition. Okay? I think of the Constitution Plaza, where that was a very grand plan, but it wasn't fully executed. For instance, the, it was supposed to connect to Main Street. There's supposed to be a t pedestrian bridge to Main Street, and it was never built. Plans were changed, and it, it fl uh, floundered for many, many years there. Um, so that's what some people are wondering whether this is. Now, I can see where it's a little bit it's different than that. It's, it can be done in smaller pieces. I can, I can see that. But I think it, the way it was presented, it looks like a very large plan. Well, it, 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 it's large only in the sense that it thinks about all of downtown in an integrated way and, tra and thinks about how all the assets that Hartford has could be better connected. Give us three. Three big assets. Well, uh, look, Hartford ranks out of 140 cities by one study, ranks number 14 in arts and culture. We have way outsized arts and cultural Wadsworth assets. Wadsworth Avenue, right? And what's that? Wadsworth is uh, Oh, the right? Wadsworth Avenue, the Bushnell, the Science right. Center, the Hartford Stage, uh, and, and uh, smaller venues that make Hartford a really vibrant place culturally. But they're not well connected if you're walking around. The streets are not as vibrant as they could be. I, I, I would say this is not a grand plan. Quite the opposite. What we've said is Hartford has invested very well, we think, over the last 10 or 20 years uh, in some very big projects. This is not that. This, that 90 percent of the work is actually done. This is the last 10 percent. This but, is about connecting the dots. But you may have a timing and a confidence problem. Denise Best, community leader, timing of this right now, cash trap city, cash trap nation, where's the money coming from? And the confidence issue, as Ken said, you got French Street that was planned, you got Constitution Plaza that was planned. People always feel, well, gee, Hartford talks big and doesn't really finish big. Your yeah, thoughts? I guess you could say that we there is a concern that there have been many grandiose plans in the past that haven't really actually worked out. But I think we all agree that revitalizing the downtown is very important. It's, it's important to the economy. Uh, it's important because Hartford is the capital of the state. And so we, we have great hopes that this will actually move people into back into downtown um, so that we can start generating um, not just connections but also um, sort of respect for the parks 
um, getting people together. Um, and uh, hopefully that, and we also have this grandiose plan for a bike path that's going mm -hmm. to be linking parks. Hopefully that it will link the community parks to the Bushnell and that will, it will um, link one of our old, one of the oldest or the oldest public museum in the country to one of the newest, which is going to be the John Rogers African American History Museum in the Upper Albany neighborhood. Mm. So I think what residents are looking for is a definite way of making those connections. We want to know how are those connections are going to be. Let's made. take a look, a 3D look at this. IQUIL. Why IQUIL, by the way? Why, why that name? Well, because this started with the idea of innovation, that if okay. Hartford is going to position itself to compete with other cities and thrive and create jobs and generate a healthy economy for its residents, mm -hmm. there it, is it has to innovate. And so the I in iQuilt is innovate. What's the quilt? The quilt is simply the kind patch of patch, I like the patchwork, patchwork plan, You're shape, the shape yes. of the plan of downtown Hartford. That's creative. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> so that's where the iQuilt name comes. Some people like the name, some don't. <laughs> but the point of it is to think about downtown Hartford as a single cultural district that should be walkable, full of life, and lots of people. It's almost there. It's there in moments. I was at Black Eyed Sally's on Monday night for the, Good the jam mm -hmm. uh, for the Hartford Jazz Society. Fantastic. That's what you want in a city. We want more of it. We need to connect more places. And I want to just stress two things. One is, the, one of the big ideas is Bushnell Park is this marvelous, fantastic asset. We have first publicly funded park in the country. And then the riverfront, which was, uh, Hartford does There's do a big projects. Right? And that was a victory. victory. Right? And I, I, when people, people, I'm from Hartford. Mm -hmm. And I know how people in Hartford can kind of get down on Hartford sometimes. Hartford has succeeded in a lot of things. One of them is we got back to the river. Yeah. Now we want to connect Bushnell Park to the river with what's called the Green Walk. Most of the connections actually are in place. We are not looking for new ways to spend money when there's so little money to be had. What we've looked for is projects that are already underway, already funded. Give you an example. The 30 the seconds. Please. The MDC has to clean up the Connecticut River. They're spending millions of dollars, which they have the money for, to uh, clean up waterways. That money can be used to help bring flowing water back into Bushnell Park. We lost the Park River. It was the centerpiece of the park. The, one of the beautiful centerpieces of this plan is to bring flowing water back into Bushnell Park. You have a very strong vision, right? But now it takes action. So what has to happen to make this thing happen? You mentioned some things are happening now. What's this thing cost? And who now takes the baton and brings it to the finish line? This is a multi-year plan that has many pieces that could be done now. They don't all have to be done at once. They don't all have to be done. But it's a unified vision and strategy that allows small projects. Some of them are $50,000. Some of them are several million dollars. But what has to happen to succeed in the cities that have succeeded in turning around their downtowns is when the whole community comes together. Public, private, government, educational, religious, the neighborhoods, the downtowns. When there's a unified vision, there has been in success. When there's not, you can almost guarantee it won't happen. 30 seconds. The division for Hartford. What is the identity for Hartford right now? In 30 seconds, what is the identity right now of Hartford and what should it be? One word. Um, what, what's the identity now and what, 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 what should it be? Well, it should be, I think, walkable. Okay. Getting you, around, that's what it, what it should be. What should it be? Denise? Multicultural. Multicultural. Vibrant. Vibrant. All right. Well, and there we'll continue our conversation and have you back because it's not going anywhere, right? Anywhere soon. Hopefully, so we're gonna... it's going forward. All right. So we'll <laughs> bring you guys back. Thank you. Well, thank you. When we come back, folks, we'll talk to a political insider about whether the honeymoon is over for new Governor Dan Malloy. Don't forget, catch the show 24-7 at ctnow.com slash Dan and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Don't go away.